Let me show you the easiest way to add text on screen using an app called Captionator. Now, this application automatically adds captions to your videos and it does it all natively in Final Cut Pro. This is probably one of the easiest tools to be able to add text on screen, whether you want big, bold titles or you just wanna add captions to your videos and do it all automatically. Now recently, I've been making a ton of short form content over on my second channel and I've been using this app to make all of my videos because when you add text on screen, it just makes the shorts much more engaging and people tend to stick around longer and watch the full short. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you use this software and how easy it is to actually work with it in Final Cut Pro. So the first part is you need to just download the app from the App Store. So you'll find it's called Captionator for Final Cut and you'll just find it by typing in Captionator. Now once you download and install Captionator and you open it, this is the screen that you're gonna see. It's gonna say thanks for installing Captionator. You'll click the arrow and then you're gonna to wanna to install and export destination. So you need to make sure to install this destination for this whole software to work. But once you've installed it, you could just open up Final Cut and it's super easy to use. So I have this shot of me sitting here at my desk and I wanna export this audio and make some titles out of it. So as you can see, I have the talking head with my vocals and then I have some music under it. Now to use Captionator, you wanna make sure that you're only exporting the audio from the person talking. So I'm gonna open up my roles and I'm gonna turn off my music. So that way the dialogue is only being exported and there's no conflicts when the computer is auto-generating the text for you. So we're gonna go up to your export, which is this little icon in the upper right-hand corner and Captionator is now gonna be added to your list. So you could either do it here when you go through the export through here, or you could go to File, Share, and Captionator will also be added at the bottom here. And so when you go to Export, all the settings are set up. You don't need to touch anything. Just hit Next, and it's gonna automatically just process in the background. So now we just wait for Final Cut to export this file, and Captionator is gonna automatically bring it back in. So you'll see it says Processing, and then this window is gonna pop up. And so there's gonna be a few options here that's gonna let you change the text or the captions. First is the style. So I have a few that I've built here, but let's just start from a custom one. And you're gonna to wanna to play with this drop down menu. And so when you pull down the drop down menu, there's a lot of options here to be able to change the look of your text. And so you could go right here down to text case and you could either do normal, uppercase, lowercase, or proper case. Now you could do a build in or a build out and so it flies in and it also flies out and you could do that with every time the titles come on screen or you could do it in just specific sections. And you could either add these build-ins or build-outs right now or you could do them later. Personally, I add these later because I only wanna do it in certain sections. So another option is making your titles 3D. I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna change my color to, let's make it yellow so it pops. And then there's an outline color. I'll just leave that to black. And you could add your outline width. Let's do three. And then underneath your outline, there's your font settings. So we're gonna bring up our fonts and let's find something that works well. I'm gonna do Helvetica New LT. It's a nice big bold and we're gonna do black condensed. Now we don't wanna generate these titles yet. There's a couple more things that we wanna change. So depending on what you're doing, you're either gonna be making titles or captions. And when you go into these settings, there's a few things you can change. First is how many words are displayed on screen at a time. Right now, this is set from one to three. So if you wanna have just one word at a time, you could do it that style and just drop this down to one and one. Or if you wanna have more phrases on screen, you can add this and make it something like five. So it just depends on how many words you want on screen. Now underneath that, you can limit the amount of characters. You could also limit the duration that the text is on screen and also the gap between text. So I'm just gonna leave all of these in the default. Now for captions, you could do the same thing. And so you could go through and change your words, your length, your duration, and your gap fill. Now also, if you don't wanna generate captions or titles, you could turn one of these off. So I'm gonna generate both because I wanna show you how you use both, but a lot of times you might just wanna use one or the other. So when you're all done with all of these settings, if you wanna save this as a custom, you could click this little plus icon right here and then save this as a preset. And now I could use this every time that I make captions. The last step is hit generate down here at the bottom. So it's gonna pull up location to set these captions and you can see I've built a ton of captions in here. You're gonna hit save and then it's gonna pull up this window. It says, which library do you want this opened in? And we're working on the library named Captionator right now. So I'm gonna open in this. And in the Final Cut Pro library that you're working in, there's now gonna be a new event that's labeled generated captions. And there's gonna be a new timeline labeled generated captions. And you can see on your timeline, here's both your titles and your captions. Now you could either start editing them here in this timeline 
or bring them over to the timeline that you're currently working on. So let's first start with the titles. Personally, how I've been working with these titles is I grab all of these and I hit Command G and that creates a storyline. Now I'm gonna go over to my main timeline and I'm gonna drop these in and I'm gonna line them up with my dialogue. Now you could do the same thing with the captions, copy them, bring them over. And so we're first just gonna play with our titles. Here's natively how they came in. They're just right there in the middle. I wanna bring them down. So what I've been doing is I grab all of my titles at once and I bring up my inspector window. And then you could go through and change all of your captions at the same time. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller title wise. And then I'm gonna go over to my transform and I'm just gonna pull them to the bottom. Now you can see that they all lined up because I have them all selected. You could either do it that way or you could change one and then copy and paste that effect to all the different titles. Let's make these bigger. So I'm gonna select them all again, make them big, bold, so they're right there at the bottom. All right, so let's see how these look. Here's a quick sample with the titles burned in, matching to my voice. Okay, so you can see that it automatically generated text for everything that I'm saying. Now, one thing that you could do from here is do the build-ins and build-outs. So if you see at the beginning here, I just highlighted the first title, and I go over to the title inspector, and you can see that same build-in and build-out option. So I'm gonna click build in. So now when this title comes in, it does a nice flash in. And then I'll go to the last one and I'll build out. So that when I'm finished talking, it builds out. Now, if you wanna have that effect where it zooms in every time I'm talking and every title comes up, then I would set the build in and build out before you hit generate earlier on in this process because when you do it that way, it's gonna be applied to all of the text. If you just wanna have it build in and out at certain sections, then I would do it later here in the inspector window. Now I'm gonna turn off the titles and I'm gonna turn on all the captions. Here's a quick sample with the titles burned in, matching to my voice. And then I'll flip over to the captions so you could see how it transitions from titles or captions. You could use it for either. This process has saved me so much time editing when I wanna have text on screen. So I'll include a link down in the description to where you can check out Captionator. And also, if you're newer to Final Cut Pro and wanna learn how to use the software, I have a full course that details how to use Final Cut Pro on the Creator Film School. But next, you should check out this video right here, which goes through a ton of tips. It's gonna help you edit faster. I'll see you on the next one.